I want to make a quick video on how to set up your station using heights with the POS 180 and this is the POC 200 the tablet connects it to it and I'm going to just quickly show you I'm in a certain job right here this is my demo file I'm going to say OK and I'm going to go ahead and say layout and instead of using my current station I'm going to create a brand new station my heights are turned on meaning I'm ready to work with heights um, point system has to be coordinate graph. It's always going to be a coordinate graph when you have a CAD file in there because it's using, there's a zero, 0 on there and it's using an X and Y coordinate system. And my setup location, my station isn't under anything specific, but it is, uh, it's just anywhere, meaning I'm going to set this up anywhere. So I'm going to say anywhere. If I had uh, the plumb laser on and it was over a point, I could say over a point, but most people uh, that I've seen just set it up anywhere and, and connect to control points. So I'm going to just go ahead and say OK. I'll call it station six. Height of instrument, I'm not gonna say anything concerning height of instrument because that does not matter. So usually that's how it looks if you're setting up over anywhere. I'm gonna say targets, and I'm gonna go ahead and select my two targets. First one's gonna be the one where I'm over now. Arbitrarily, this is gonna be my CP1. I'm gonna say okay. And my header rod is five feet. As you can see right there, it takes into account this section. So I'm gonna just say measure, measure that distance. I'm gonna to walk to the other one and do the same thing. I'm now over my second point. I'm gonna select it right there. I'm gonna say, okay. And I'm gonna make sure I'm plumb. My header rod is still five feet. I'm gonna say measure. Now I'm not on a flat surface at all. As you can tell, I'm just in a normal parking lot. Um, and uh, you can see that using tape measure horizontally, I'm about 3 16 off. For my sake in this demo, I'm going to be okay with that. And my differential in height, because my heights are turned on, is telling me that my differential in height is actually about an inch, one inch and one eighth from point number one, which I had over there, to over here. And you can see I'm on a little bit of a dip. So my height differential is about an eighth. In my program, I have these listed as um, one foot in height each. And it looks like uh, this one on the right side dipped a little bit. So, you know, what can I do? At least it's telling me that I'm off. Um, regardless though, I'm happy with my horizontal. So I'm gonna go ahead and say calculate. I'm happy with the stationing so far. I'm gonna say calculate. And this comes up. This is when I wanna set my station height. Now, benchmark point ID, if I have a point that I have already programmed in my CAD file that has the height I want it, I can select that point. Let's say it's CP2, for instance, where I am now. Now notice it automatically uploads exactly the height of what that, that, that point is that, that's listed in the CAD file. Now all I do is I say my height of instrument does not matter, is zero. My height of rod is what matters, it's five because it's measuring to the rod. My station height, therefore, if I measure, is going to be six foot three and three eighths, which is saying that, okay, from that point, which I'm telling the tool is one foot to the station, the station is technically six feet, three and three eighths inches high, okay? So it's about a foot higher than my rod, which is at five feet. Now, technically, technically at that, uh, that, that, now that, that's absolute height. If we're talking about relative height, relatively, if you look at the ground, the station is actually only about five feet and th five foot three and three eighths because it's going from the ground up. But because I have the ground listed as one foot, the station height's coming in as six foot three and three eighths. So the station knows how high it is at my elevation. I just measured that point in there and I'm good to go. And now as I go and I measure out my CAD file, it's going to be using that height as my benchmark for everything I do. So for instance, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to log in. I'm going to go ahead and let's lay out a point real quick. I'll go back to CP1. And remember, like I told you, this is not a level surface. So I'm going to just get this level here real quick. I just got my rod level and you can see, okay, it's saying, okay, if that over there is going to be my benchmark height, then, you know, it's telling me that I'm basically spot on, you know, as far as I'm not really the best of the tape measure. I mean, I need to come to the right a little bit, but I'm basically spot on as far as my easting and my north, but my height, my Z variable is off by two, two inches and five sixteenths. So actually I'm, that was a lot bigger dip than I thought. That's two inches and five sixteenths lower on the right side than it is on the left. So one of the nice things to note is even though I stationed, when I stationed my height differential was off, when I put that benchmark height in, it now is reading everything off of that benchmark height instead of when I 
when I set the station. And now it's able to tell me accurate accurate height readings. Before it wasn't able to, it wouldn't have been able to do that if I didn't set that station height like that. My easting and westing, it's fine to tell me exactly where my easting and westing is. And my, when I say east and west and north and south, I mean, this is telling me how far horizontally I need to go back or forwards with the tool. This left and right arrow is telling me how far left and right I need to move from the tool. And this one's telling me how high I need to go. So in order to be level with that point over there, I need to move my prism up. Well, technically I need to move the ground up two inches, five sixteenths. So I hope that makes sense. And I'll kind of just show one more time. If I go back, I'll go back into the new station and new height, right? I can either select a point and use that as a benchmark, or I can actually just say manual height. This is a one of the most common things to do. I say manual. I just say, okay, I'm gonna record my elevation at 150, let's say. Let's say I wanna measure I'm on, a, I'm on a, a large concrete slab and I'm at, at the 20th floor and I'm 150 feet above sea level. If I'm 150 feet above sea level, I just write that in right there. My height of the instrument, because I'm setting up over anywhere, does not matter. If I was over a point, I would say how high I am over a point and I would use this crosshair on the tool. And I measure from there to the ground, to where the point would be. I would have the plumb laser on the point right beneath the station. I would write that in there if I needed to write that in. But I would say my benchmark height, my benchmark point, I'm going to, usually the benchmark point is, uh, you know, an elevation mark that you have on uh, either the slab or usually on a uh, steel beam. Hundred, let's say you're going to be measuring your 150 sea level mark. Height of rod, in this case, would not matter because you'd be using, um, most of the time you'd be using the direct read function, which pulls up the laser. As you can see, it's going to pop up right there. So my height of rod technically can be zero, but again, it would not matter. Um, and then I would just zoom the laser over to where the point was, say measure, and then it would be like, then the tool would know that's my, that's your benchmark and be able to base everything off of that. So that's a couple ways to, um, set your station height. You have, let me go back. You go to manual height. Manual, uh, this is under, uh, you have point height. If I press point height, that's asking me to use a point height. Manual height, it's asking me to type in something manually and measure it. It's as simple as that. Um, you want to make sure you do this when you set a station, especially if you're concerned about heights, but it's uh, whatever is easiest for you. If you're only laying out something horizontally and you don't really care about heights, then don't worry about it. Um, regardless of how level your slab is, it's still going to be able to find your X and Y point, and it just won't give you a height reading.